In this video, we're going to do a topology proof. So here X is a topological space. We're going to prove that a subset A of capital X is closed if and only if A contains all of its limit points. So here I've written the definition of limit point. So we say X in capital X is a limit point of A if every open set O containing X contains a point of A that is different from X. Okay, so that's what it means for X to be a limit point of A. So X is not a limit point if you can find at least just one open set, O containing X, that does not contain points of A different from X. So that would violate the definition of limit point if you can just find one open set, O containing X, that does not have any points of A different from X. Let's go ahead and go through the proof very, very carefully. So we'll do it in two parts because this is an if and only if statement. So I'm gonna prove this direction first. We're gonna start by assuming that A is a closed subset of capital X. So we'll do this direction here. So suppose A, which is a subset of X, is closed. So suppose this is a closed subset. And now we're going to show that A contains all of its limit points. We're gonna do this by using a proof by contradiction. So we'll assume that it does not contain all of its limit points and try to reach a contradiction. So assume to the contrary that A does not contain all of its limit points. So that A does not contain, does not contain all of its limit points. So what does this mean? This means there exists an X that's not an A such that X is a limit point. Such that X is a limit point. Well, what does it mean for X not to be an A? It means it's in the complement of A. So thus, X is in X set minus A, which is open because A is closed. Which is open because A is closed. So what we have here is we have an open set, X, sets, X, X set minus A. So we have an open set, X set minus A, containing X, but it does not contain points of A different from X. In fact, it contains no points of A, so which does not contain points of A different from X. It's a lot of writing, but it's good to it's good to write it all out. Different from X. This is a contradiction because we said that X was a limit point. So if it's a limit point, then whenever you have an open set containing X, it must have points of A that are different from X. Well, here we have exhibited an open set containing X that does not contain any points of A. So in particular, it is not going to contain any points of A different from X. So that contradicts our assumption that A does not contain all of its limit points. Therefore, A must contain all of its limit points. So thus, A contains all of its limit points. So thus, A contains all of its limit points. So it's a lot of writing, but when, when you're learning, it's good to write it all out and, and make it look pretty and good and clear. It's all about clarity. So hopefully that has made some sense. Let's prove the other direction. Okay, so to prove the other direction, we're going to assume that A contains all of its limit points and then we're gonna show A is closed. So this one's a little bit harder. So suppose that A contains all of its limit points. So all of its limit points. And the claim is that A is closed. So what we're gonna do 
is we're going to show that the complement is open. So take any x and x set minus a. And we're going to show that this is open. We're going to do that by writing it as a union of open sets, which we're going to get from violating this definition. So take any x in this set, and that means that x is not an a. Well, we said that a contains all of its limit points. So this means that x is not a limit point. So x is not a limit point of a. So what does that mean? That means there exists some open set containing x that does not contain points of a different from x. So there exists some, let's say, ox open such that x is an ox and ox does not contain points of a different from x. So in particular, in particular, x is not an a, and ox does not contain points of a different from x. So that means that ox contains no points of a. So that means that ox intersect a is equal to the empty set. So this means, because these are empty, we have that ox is contained in x set minus a, right? If you think about it, ox and a have no elements in common. So ox is contained entirely in x and shares no elements with a. So this holds for any x. So we have that x set minus a is contained in the union of all of these ox's, right? For any x in capital, in, in capital x set minus a, we can produce an ox such that x is contained in ox. So this set is contained in the union of all of these ox's. Likewise, um, for any x in ox, uh, x is not going to be in a. So x is in set minus a. So all of these ox's are contained in x set minus a. So this is actually an equality. So x set minus a is equal to the union of the ox's where x is in x set minus a. And so this is a union of open sets, therefore this is open. So x set minus a is open, hence a is closed. That's the definition of closed. So we've completed the proof and that is the end. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.